why is it interesting to study the biology of the eye? Okay, so if you're someone who's interested in biology, why would you want to study the eye rather than just general biology or some other part of the body? Well, I think the eye is really interesting for a number of reasons. One is that it has many things that are usual for tissues, so it's good for studying normal biology, but it also has some very unusual capabilities. And that's because it needs to be transparent. And so to maintain that transparency, it has to have some specialised features. For example, it's incredibly effective at resisting infection, more so than any other part of the body. And so because of that, we believe that there are some unique antimicrobial factors that exist within the eye, and that if we can discover what these are, these could be used to treat infections, not just of the eye, but infections in general. And these would be biocompatible and you know, non-toxic and could perhaps be better than currently used antibiotics. So that's just an example. Um, it's also true that the eye very rarely becomes inflamed. So that, that means that there are potential for developing or discovering new agents that could be used to treat inflammation. And inflammation is a major cause of many different diseases. So th you know, there are a couple of examples. So I think the eye is basically a gold mine of potential therapeutics that could be used for treating not just eye disease, but diseases of the whole body. If you want to do vision science research, you want to work at biology of the eye, study eye disease, why would you want to come to Berkeley rather than go somewhere else? And I think the reason for that is that we are very multidisciplinary and we do have access to all of these other departments, people, both within the vision science program and also on the Berkeley campus. And this makes us unusual, I think, in terms of, you know, in comparison to people who do biology research at medical schools where everybody in the place does medical research, they don't have the access to these other departments. So we have chemistry next door, physics next door, and these are the top departments in the world in these areas. So this enables us to make connections and do the type of research that perhaps you couldn't do elsewhere.